<laughs> What's up, YouTube fam? I'm Shannon, and I am an artist, designer, librarian, foodie, and lover of all things black. Come along with me as I travel to new places, eat new food, try new things, eat some more food, highlight black owned businesses, and all other matters of carrying on. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Welcome to the channel. What's up, y'all? Another early airport morning. Uh, stay tuned to find out where I'm heading. to our Airbnb so I'm gonna take you guys on a quick tour around the house so this is a little courtyard area leading up to the front door I got little plants and little statues here and let's go inside okay so welcome to our humble abode for the next few days when you first walk inside there is a half bathroom immediately behind the front door this is the kitchen with the beautiful stainless steel appliances and then we also have this very nice um island slash bar that we did um our breakfast eating at and then over here we have uh, i don't know a den <laughs> with the wicker furniture um incredible view at this airbnb it was incredible views um out of every room on the back side of the house this is the living room um with another um patio door entrance into the patio deck pool area um each of these windows had the hurricane protection so that was that screen you saw coming up and down um this is more views of the pool which overlooks the ocean this is a view from the balcony um yes the water really is that clear <laughs> um that that crystal uh beautiful toy course color and this is the dining room table that we did not eat at um but let's go ahead and head upstairs first up is the master bathroom which was beautiful has a nice big uh garden tub and it also had the rain shower head which you see there a uh, double sink had the beautiful black towel and and stone on the walls uh as you can see there's the shower head in action and then this is the master bedroom um and it has another uh beautiful balcony overlooking the pool and the ocean um here is a second bedroom that has its own bathroom which is what you see here and um then we go into our next bedroom um, similar to the first one um, it has its own bathroom as well I love the the decoration in the bathrooms on this house it was really nice all right y'all so we're still in that third bedroom um, it has a room off of it which you're getting ready to see um, it's considered the office it has a day bed and a pull-out trundle bed underneath this is actually where me and my roommate stayed um, we were last minute additions to the trip so we got this, the slim pickings but no complaints here we still had this beautiful view from our room 
Now join me for a short walk to the private beach for this condo community and I do mean short. Uh, I want to say our house was the second to the last house on the row so to access this beach all we did was walk uh, like 30 seconds past the last house on the row made a left turn went down the stairs and the beach was literally right there so very very convenient <laughs> private beach near our airbnb it is hot it's scorched out here uh, let me flip this around so y'all can see Here we are at Twisted Lime. One thing to keep in mind about the Bahamas, their COVID restrictions are still a little stricter than in the States. So to dine in there, you actually had to be vaccinated and have proof of vaccination. One person in our group was not vaccinated, so we sat outside, which was beautiful. It was nice vibes. Uh, but Twisted Lime, y'all took way too long to give us our food. We waited for over an hour. I ordered the conch mac and cheese, and it was good, but that wait was was not welcome to day two we are currently on our way to the grocery store as i said before bahama has a little bit more stricter restrictions in place so when we got to the grocery store our temperatures were scanned by the security guard and we were given hand sanitizer um prepare yourself for the prices if you're going grocery shopping in bahamas uh i know they have to import stuff so i assume that's why the prices are so high but whew, we were not ready shannon's vlog day two here <laughs> <laughs> We're out enjoying the pool while the men folk are inside cooking breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. But either we can put, I can put the, we use the butter. Yeah, I'll just use the butter. Yeah. Probably go put the bacon. I can put the bacon in the. There's Christian over there. And the beautiful ocean behind me. Did my swimsuit for today. Thank you, waiter. <laughs> Having breakfast poolside. This looks good. Y'all did a pretty good job. AJ's here on the mini pancakes. That was so smart since we didn't have a spatula. <laughs> Use a spoon to make mini pancakes. How smart of you. <laughs> I'm proud of y'all. Y'all yes, did a great job. Chef AJ, <laughs> Chef Romare, and <laughs> Chef Mike. <laughs> All right, our bellies are full and we are ready for our first adventure of the day, which is a glass bottom boat tour and snorkeling. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but we did have a rental van the entire time we were in the Bahamas. So that is how we were getting around from place to place. So the footage you're currently looking at is footage um, of us heading to where we thought was where we get on the glass bottom boat tour. Um, but you'll see in the next few clips that we were in the wrong place, um, but just keep watching. Okay, we are out here about to get on the glass bottom boat tour, snorkeling and then another type of boat tour. So we just came out here to the beach down the street, about to do that next. This is us walking um, to the wrong beach. Um, when we got there, those guys over there in the green told us that the beach we needed to be at was about maybe a 45 minute walk. So you know that was dead. So we made our way back to the car and uh, drove to the beach that we were supposed to be at. It's the beach you see us at now. Um, they were being very pressed about the time. We had a one o'clock booking and you know, they said, well, the boat's gonna leave, the boat's gonna leave. Um, I'm sorry. I had never known Caribbean anything to be on time. So that was a little surprising. But when we got there, there were other stragglers as well. Um, so I think we uh, wound up pulling off at like 1.15. Dang, AJ, your 
little head all up in my video. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm this guy. Oh yes. I see it. The trail is like the seagrass, the ancient seagrass. We got as you can see we got a lot of sea grass and we got a lot of turtles. They came up and gave me a kiss. <laughs> Hello, Hello. 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 You see any fish? What you see down there? Yeah, right here in the front. Hey, you see how big here? Fish is about to go in. Are you ready, Christian? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get the five. Right now it's 15. I'll get in this five. <laughs> tour it was so much fun um now we're waiting for the manager of this place he's going to escort us to where we can get some conch fritters and they actually gave us a refund because they couldn't do the second boat tour we were supposed to do so they gave us eat five dollars per person so now we're going to take that money and go get us some conch fritters here we are at the spot that has the conch i don't know what the name of this resort is but it looks cool it has a little bar here try to find the name oh this is at the west wind that is where we're currently at Fritters, which I liked a lot, and boy, were they hot! 
this is a nice little spot you got here, West Wind. Uh, we hung out here for quite some time, um, playing pool and just chilling. Don't miss me. Playing pool by the pool. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised AJ ain't said it yet. <laughs> And y'all already know I had to get in on one of these games. <laughs> What's up, good people? Back at the house now. Um, the boat ride today in Snowflake was a lot of fun. Um, we're getting ready to go somewhere. I think we're going to the fish fry downtown. Yeah, I think that's in downtown New Providence. So that is where we are headed. Everybody keeps mentioning this fish fry place. So we're gonna go check it out. So when we first pulled up to the fish fry spot, a guy called us and convinced us to come to, uh, I guess it was his restaurant, I'm not sure, but the restaurant was called Curly's. Uh, I ordered the jerk chicken here. To me, there wasn't anything jerk about the chicken, but I don't know. I'm so used to Jamaican food. Maybe uh, Bahamian jerk chicken is different. Uh, the food was just okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend though. After dinner, my friend Mike and I decided to hang back to check out the rest of the area. Now, Mike, look, this is what looked like real jerk chicken. You see how they got them pits? Okay, yes, yes. What's this? Joey seafood and, and lambs. Oh, and lambs. <laughs> Coco coming out. Currently out and about, walking around fish fry area this little downtown area in Nassau we just saw a fight they fighting y'all oh they fighting oh they fighting oh damn see they missed all of this they left too early they missed all this um a lot of bars down here we're just exploring right now Another restriction the island had in place when I was down there was an 11 o'clock curfew. Although these places really started shutting down around 10 ish, so the party ended kind of early. Carlton's log. It's day three here. Yeah. It's day three here in the Bahamas. It's day three. Yeah, it is day three. And we are about to go get our COVID test, get our little swabby swabs, so that we can make it back to America tomorrow. And then we're going to go to. Uh, we're gonna go to Nirvana Beach and then we're gonna go to uh, under the docks and we'll see what else we get into for the rest of the day. Deuces. We're out here at Nirvana Beach. Let me flip the camera so y'all can see.
Coffin's Log, episode 52. We're currently under the docks, little hangout spot over here. They said the tourists don't really come here. This is where the locals hang out. So this is where we try and be. So kind of set up like that fish fry place we went to yesterday. But I put the camera so I can see what's going on. So we walked to the end of the line of the eateries and we wound up sitting at this place called McKenzie's and eating there. We started by sitting outside, um, but it started storming. So we did move inside eventually, but I started off with the conch salad appetizer. Um, the conch salad was okay. I didn't love it all that much, um, especially for the price. It was $14. Um, here's some footage of it. Kind of remind me of pico de gallo with the conch meat in it. And then I had the red snapper snack for my meal and this is me when it was nice outside what you do? What you do? where you at oh you got plans at Bahamar Resorts. About to go check out the casino. Check out what other type of things they have up in here. Oh, and they have a water slide out here. Let me flip it so you can see. Wait, that blue thing at the top. That's a water slide. <laughs> and this is one of the entrances. Welcome to the beautiful Baja Mar Resort. Um, upon us arriving at the entrance, we did have to show the security guard proof of a negative COVID test. So that's something to keep in mind, as well as making sure you have your ID to prove that you're not a local. Um, it's kind of sucked when I heard this, but apparently the locals cannot go into the casino there or um, or at least can't go to the resort um, after particular hours. Matter of fact, when we got to the door to get into the casino part, the guy wasn't letting us in at first because he thought we were locals until we explained, you know, that we were visitors. So that kind of sucks. Um, but it was a very um, nice, uh, bright, and like kind of bright and airy um, resort. I lost my twenty dollars. <laughs> I'm done. That's all I do when I play the slot machines. I do my twenty, and that's it. So now I'm about to go check out the jazz bar. <laughs> Okay, so now you're checking out some footage of what the resort looks like on its outside grounds. Um, there's many a pool there at Baja Mar, and it was really nice outside. Like the 
the setting, the vibe, the lighting, they really set the mood. I mean, this is a great place to go, you know, with your with your boo, with your lover. <laughs> it had a, um, a lot of romantic vibes um, with the lighting and everything. And um, like I said, they had many a pool, multiple pools. Um, they had cabanas. Um, it was really nice. I can only imagine what it um, probably looks like in the daytime if it looks this nice at night. And as with any great Caribbean resort, it has its own private beach. So in our exploring, we stumbled upon the beach and they had lounge chairs out there. So we decided to chill and enjoy the sounds of the water for a little bit. And sadly we have come to the end of our trip this is day four and us on our way to the airport <laughs> but the Bahamas was a great time definitely take the opportunity to go if you do get the opportunity Carlton vlog episode 82 <laughs> we're getting ready to leave good old Bahamas see my shirt I got yesterday at Nirvana Beach, my little souvenir shirt. About to roll out. Got like another hour and a half before our plane boards. So it's gonna be sitting and waiting. Ooh, this mask is lengthy. This mask. Oh, this mask so lengthy. Hey guys, popping in to close out the vlog. I hope you enjoyed getting a close look at my trip to the Bahamas. As I already stated, I would definitely recommend anyone uh, to go visit. It was a good time. I definitely like to go back again, maybe stay a little longer next time, maybe stay at the Bahama next time. <laughs> but uh, thanks as always for watching. Drop a comment if you've been to the Bahamas, if you liked it, you know, share what you thought, um, share other islands that you enjoyed visiting because I definitely want to visit more of the Caribbean. Um, and yes, thanks for watching and I'll highlight y'all later. Peace.